In 1964, a durable cassette called the 8-track was introduced to America. Millions were sold over the next two decades, most landing in yard sales and the trash can. Our 5 on your side's Randy Schwanker tracked down a Quincy, Illinois man who just couldn't let them go. In a dark basement, Bob Heitzman has tracked, cataloged, and numbered everything related to his hobby. Anytime somebody gave tapes to me, blank tapes, and I got them all, all logged. He even has a nickname. Tracker Bob. But it's not because he keeps track of things. It's the things he keeps track of. The 8-tracks. You see, Bob owns the world's largest 8-track collection. 93,337. Storing them is his biggest dilemma. In Southern Illinois, I've got 40,000 tapes and 200 players in storage. He's run out of space in his basement, and you guessed it, even the garage is full. Most people want to get rid of them. That's why I get them. They're all in working order. He has no shortage of 8-track players. 711. It wasn't just music on this magical magnetic tape. So I have instructional tapes for uh, motorhomes, John Deere tractors. <laughs> Bob is a walking 8-track encyclopedia. So the first 8-track player and 8-track tape was Bill Lear's, you know, it's Learjet. You look on the back of the tapes and it says Learjet. Replaced by the cassette tape, which was replaced by the CD, which is in short demand because of downloadable files. You might be surprised to know that there was something out there before 8-tracks. Came out with the 45 player in the car. As you can imagine, it skipped a little. So my wife is, keeps telling me, oh, why don't you start getting on eBay and start selling some of them? And I said, I, I might do that. Haven't yet, but. That might take a while. Randy Schwenker for Today in St. Louis. Wow.